the zombies are out in full force, tethered to their hive mind. It should be so blatantly obvious now to the real. Look at the amount of comments that this channel is getting with every single post. Go back to the Golden Web. That video is nearly nine years old in just a couple months. Not even a thousand comments. And now, 700 comments in less than a day on every single post. And it's going to continue to happen. As I said, they've swarmed. They're like a cancer infestation. There is a lot of unreal out there. That should be blatantly obvious now. And look at some of these comments. They're just writing pages and pages of material. Just like the chat GPT program. I use that for a few minutes. It's quite something receiving a 20 page response in one second. So for this artificial intelligence system to do that, to send a thousand new commenters every five minutes is nothing. That's the point. And of course, they can speak to all kinds of topics. Anyone who's utilized ChatGPT realizes this. And of course, it's quite unreal. And that's also the point. Wow, that's unreal. Exactly. It's a tell. It's unreal. So they're telling you it's unreal. And there, there's a lot of those avatar pictures, and you can see, you can see that the person in the avatar picture doesn't look real. It looks very much like a computer-generated image of something a computer would think looks like a person. It just looks fake. I know there's still some real listening. But one has to realize there are far fewer of us, the real, than there are of them. One must, you have to be aware of that. And they're always trying to stir the pot. And they're always countering everything that I'm saying. Trying to put words into my mouth every single time that I never said and to change the intention of my direct crystal clear meaning. I'm being crystal clear with what I say. And they're trying to disturb that and confuse everyone out there who's real by saying, no, he meant this. No, the walk is a metaphor. Still, they just pummel, pummel everyone with the same rhetoric over and over again. They have no other strategy. It's going to be noticed every single post now. It's going to be hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands eventually of comments. As the months roll on, maybe tens of thousands. The whole point is to create a lot of clutter. That's what cancer is. It just keeps spreading and spreading and multiplying and multiplying and cluttering, devouring, creating all kinds of chaos and confusion. And that's exactly what's being done. There's just a lot, a lot of clutter now. I want to be crystal clear again about everything that's to come. And I'm going to talk again about that because it's necessary. These are not metaphors that I'm bringing. And a lot of you that are real must notice that they want you zenned out and zoned out. They want you in a war to be meditating. They want you to be a meditator while war is happening. 
just absolutely zoned right out. So many of these commenters, look at what they're saying. Meditation is the way out. And they're always trying to keep everyone separated, isolated. They'll even use the word sovereign. Oh, I'm sovereign. Always indicating that that's the way. And I will create my own reality. I'm God. No, none of us is God. Only God is God. Such hubris. That goes right back to the very beginning again of the book of Genesis. Ye shall be like God. It's just a tactic, a manipulative tactic to try to convince you that it's the way. So no, it's definitely not the way. That should be obvious. The only work that one does by oneself alone to free oneself is the inner work. That's the fact. That's the walk that's done alone is inwardly. No one can change how you are inside. But this walk to come is going to be done together. Not alone. Not just walking out into some bush or forest and trying to eke out a living for a little while and then dying in the cold. These absurdities, these ideas I have never expressed, ever. And yet I see people, the unreal, obviously, it has to be for the most part, just again putting things into my mouth that I never said, changing the intention of the message, and that's what their intention is, to create confusion. A lot of confusion in everyone. Their, their job is to mind fuck everyone. That's what they're doing. It's a psychological con job. And they're not going to relent. I'll post this. You'll see it's the same thing. Before one day is up, 800 comments or how, however many. They are not going to stop. I am a target. I am the target. One of two. That's going to get far more obvious in the near future. And I know some of you are expressing certain questions about the timeline of things, and that's fine. I can't give you the exact date that I walk. That's a sacred, that's a sacred time. The exact moment. I will not be giving the exact moment that I walk but I've given a general outline and it's not very long from now. I'll give you another way to perceive it, which is the truth. This will be the last summer that you will be able to really travel anywhere. Those of you who are flying on planes again, you will in all likelihood, not be getting on a plane next summer unless you're a billionaire because they have a reserve of resources that they've been prepping for for quite some time now, which should be obvious to anyone who's done research for a lot of years now. You see all the underground bunkers, all these things that the rich or the elite have been preparing for. It's all for this moment. That's what it's always been about. So that's why I'm saying this summer will be the last summer of traveling in that way.
because the resources are going to be shut off. And the gas stations, they're not going to be just wide open for you to just drive up and take gas at your leisure. It's all going to be a ration system. Every last bit of it. And as I said, if you don't take the mark, you're not getting a ration. So this is why I've brought the two possibilities. I'm the one possibility, which means the actual walk towards an actual destination. In the United States, on the western side of the United States. So, that's why for option two, what I am asking is that anyone out there who is a prepper or is willing to prep and stay behind, stay behind in your house, which means not getting the mark, but having enough prep that you can survive a minimum of two years. It might be longer. It's going to potentially be a little longer before the walk reaches its destination, its final destination. And those false lights in the sky, the sun and moon, go dark. So a minimum two years prep, food, water, gas, and weapons, because I've told you the scenario, it's been a tell in all the entertainment, over and over and over again, it's been a tell, that's what's coming. So the second possibility of those who are all in for the heart, and you're willing to lay it all on the line, that's going to be the only way you're coming on the walk or to stay behind and and be a lighthouse. And I mean an actual lighthouse to fight the dead for her. I'm the key. She's the door. That's the bet. And everyone will eventually find out who she is, but not right now. I cannot give that information right now. But it's important. And this is the final game, which is a bet. A bet that's laid down for the kingdom. It's about who attains the kingdom. If this walk, if this walk goes bust and she doesn't make it out alive either, that's, you don't want to know the outcome of that. That's not a, that's the worst, the worst that could happen to all of us. And I get some of you are saying, oh, I've heard this so many times before, so many times, and nothing's happening. (laughs) And of course, that's not true at all. I mean, look at what just happened. The quarantine, the whole vaccine campaign, years of shutdowns. That's not something happening. That was the trailer and the first part. The second part is the end when the war happens and it all goes dark. And yeah, when it goes dark, obviously without any light, well, there's no heat. So it's going to get pretty damn cold. So you can imagine what also needs to be prepared for. So she, and see it like chess, as I said, is the queen that needs protecting to make it all the way to where I am, where I've made it to the end of my walk. 
And where she's going to be is where my walk starts, which is an ocean of distance in the dark because those false lights have been taken down and the true light of the heart hasn't risen yet because that's what this is all about. So actual and legitimate lighthouses are going to be needed. People who are actually prepping and ready to lay it all on the line. And I know how this all sounds. It's over the top, absurd, grandiose, just too impossible to imagine. But this is the finale, the final battle between the living and the dead. The two crowns, if you will. That's who Satan's army is. It's the dead. They're the zombies. They collect the nectar of the heart for the queen bitch, the spider of this realm. That once those two lights in the sky, the sun and moon, go down, they're going to turn into actual zombies. Just like the entertainment world has shown you. No different. It's been a tell over and over and over again to everyone. This is what's to come. It's the debt ceiling. Look at the debt in the United States alone. I mean, it's everywhere. That's a reflection. Again, I say reflection because it's all about vision. So the debt keeps rising and rising and rising. And what eventually happens? Just think of banking. Well, it, you have to go bankrupt. And what explodes when you go bankrupt? Well, the debt, the dead. It's in the phonetic. It's another tell. So, yeah. The dead will be rising. The debt will be rising from the graves. I know how that sounds. That's the point. It wants this to sound absolutely ridiculously crazy. As if it's just too unreal to happen. Of course, that's what it wants everyone to think that's hearing this message. So that's why I am directly asking and I'm looking for the real to respond. I need you to say, I am all in for the heart and I am willing to lay it all on the line for the heart. And then after that, whether you're all in for the walk or all in to stay behind as a lighthouse of protection for her. And you see how these unreal commenters keep trying to put words into my mouth and say, it's about protecting the earth. No, it's about protecting someone who's real. That's wearing one of these monkey suits right now that we're all wearing the human form, the human body. No different. So that's exactly what I mean. I'm being crystal clear. Absolutely crystal clear. Not cryptic at all. That's what the devil's bet is about. He's bet against me succeeding on the walk. He just wants, yeah, he wants me to just die out in the cold, hopefully freeze to death. I am going to have to fight the, against the cold. That is a fact. And of course, when those two lights go down and she's starting where I'm from right now, it's going to be extremely cold and even more difficult can you understand the importance of being a lighthouse? This is 
the opportunity of an eternity. I've always said, and I still maintain, there are no outside saviors, and there never will be. But this is an opportunity. That's not an outside savior. It's an opportunity. And it's going to be up to everyone to actually walk the opportunity, to actually do something, to carry your own weight, to carry your own cross, as it's been said. You can't sit on the sidelines. You can't just say, you got this. You got this, man. Best of luck to you, you know, in your endeavors. When all this comes to the foray, and as I said, everyone sees me do the impossible for the first time, which is going to happen a few weeks after I start my walk will be the first demonstration I will show the world what the impossible looks like. And to those who didn't believe me in these moments as I'm presenting these messages right now to prepare either one of two ways, if you're for the kingdom of the heart and wanting out of hell, if you don't believe me, and then you see what you are going to be shown, you are going to be absolutely stupefied. Absolutely shocked. And in full realization that you just wasted the opportunity given to see ahead of time. And it will be too late for option two, which is the prepper option and to be a lighthouse. It will be too late because the systems are going to be shutting down very quickly and it's going to be mass panic to get the little supplies that are available and then the governments are going to start shutting down everything and saying we need to create a ration system for the moment and then they reveal the mark it's going to happen very quickly We don't have a lot of time, but you are being told ahead of time to prepare as a prepper. There's some time to do that right now, and that's what I'm asking. To help her is far more important than it is to help me. I can tell you that. I need more of you to be preppers than to be walkers. And I don't mean walkers like the walking dead. That's not what this is. Not, that's not what the walk is. It's a walk towards heaven and life and the opportunity that I've stated many times before. But many of you have strong filters. That's the thing with the ego and the crown of the mind is it's a filtering program. It just sieves and sieves and sieves everything it receives. See, like the phonetic, to sieve is to filter. So some of you have commented in past messages that you think that these videos have been Mandela affected because you went back a month later and listened again and it was completely different. I can tell you now that that's the filtering at work inside of you and obviously if you thought it was mandela affected any of these messages then your filters are still very very strong that's why it takes an intensity to truly listen you have to pay attention with the totality of your being the totality otherwise so much gets lost so much isn't being isn't being taken in you're not seeing it with your heart it's being filtered by the brain 
over and over and over again. I could speak for an hour and maybe two minutes of the message might actually be received by the brain because it's filtering out the rest. That's its job because it's the devil's design tool. It scatters everything and confuses it all. You have to work so hard to neutralize the mind. Again, neutrality is, has always and is always about neutralizing the mind, ending the duality of the brain. The heart is unity. It is togetherness. It is not separation, isolation, and division, and cutting. That's all stuff of the brain and the mind, which is the devil's tool. That's the fact. So I see there's lots of comments. This sounds like more duality, heart or mind. Well, then what? You want neither So you'll just disappear and be a non-existent nothing. Well, then pray for that. Because you're obviously not that right now. You're making a comment. So again, maybe you're an unreal pot stirrer or maybe you're just confused. I'm not sure. I'm not going to judge the real who are just confused. That's what this system is all about, is creating confusion. I'm definitely not going to judge any of the real for that. I understand. That's why I want to be crystal clear completely about what is happening. So to those who take option two, you have to go in the comments. Let me know. Say it with your heart. I am all in for the kingdom of the heart, and I am willing to lay it all on the line. To be all in, and to prep and be a lighthouse. And the lighthouses are going to be necessary in the western part of North America, throughout Canada, British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan. And in the United States, Washington, Montana, Idaho, Oregon, Wyoming, Utah, Nevada. These are the areas that lighthouses are going to be needed. It's going to be completely dark. Completely dark and cold. And to anyone in those areas... That's who I'm calling upon, specifically. Or those willing to even relocate to those areas. Eternity is on the line. Actually, literally, eternity, your eternal spirit, soul, whatever word you want to use, what you actually are, the totality of your being, Your infinite heart-based being is completely on the line. That's why I say you're going to be stupefied when you see what happens. And you realize I've been delivering the 100% truth to you this entire time. And in that moment when you see it with the rest of the world, and you wanted to help... Let's say inside of yourself, it's going to be too late. This is the time right now. As I said, orange alert, which means in in a storm to come, prepare appropriately. And yeah, there's the biggest storm ever, ever to come. There's a hell of a lot of prep that needs to be done and not much time to do it. That's being crystal clear. The bet is I walk down to the destination I need to go in the lower part of the United States. 
And she needs to, after several years in the dark, find me. That's the bet. Can you understand why that is essentially impossible? It's unbelievable. Yes, some of you have figured out just the the accent I carry. He sounds Canadian. Yeah, that's you're right. I'm in Canada. I'm not going to tell you exactly where I am. Not right now, but the very last presentation I make, the very last message I give on this platform, I will tell you, and it will be the last revelation on this platform from me. Everyone is going to see how I look. That will be the reveal, the first reveal. Because some of you are constantly asking, why don't you show your face? (laughs) As if that really matters. I've been showing you my heart nonstop. That's what matters. And you're concerned with what my face looks like. Well, don't worry. In the not too distant future, everyone will see what my face looks like too. I'm not hiding anything, and this is not about hiding anything. So, for those who are going to be utterly gobsmacked, as I said, because they're going to see that everything I've been saying has been 100% true. And to those who might have wanted to be a lighthouse, it's going to be too late if you have no prep. And then if you still want the opportunity to save yourself and leave hell, you're going to have no choice but to come on the walk. You're going to have to come on the walk with me. That's it. That's going to be your only option. And option two, to stay behind, is no easy feat, no easy task. Just imagine, two plus years. It will not be three years, I can tell you that. It probably, it won't be two and a half even. Like I say, two plus, maybe a couple months around there. Can you imagine, as I'm saying, hunkering down for that length of time, not being able to go anywhere, really? You're not going to a grocery store. You're not going to the mall. You're not going out for coffee. You're not going to have gas to go visit your friend in another town. And so on and so forth. You get the picture. It's about bunkering down. That's correct. For a couple years. To wait for this moment. When everything changes. And the unreal turn into what I've told you they turn into. Which all the movies and TV shows have been slapping in everyone's face over and over again. That is no easy task. But that's the point of what I meant by if you want to be in the band, you got to carry your own instrument. If you want your opportunity of an eternity, you're going to have to walk the walk and demonstrate that you're willing to lay it all on the line and actually do something. You can't sit on the sidelines. That's not what a war is. There's not the bleachers. And you go, yay, I'm a cheerleader. I'm on the bleachers. Go team. Yeah, I believe in you. I believe in you. And when you succeed, let me into heaven. Well, that's not going to happen. That absolutely is not how heaven works. 
I don't think a lot of you are comprehending this. Heaven doesn't just allow entry to anyone who's a do-nothing and isn't willing to lay themselves down for the kingdom. It's always about being all in. It's heaven. It's not some garbage dump like this reality. Or the way it's been set up. Obviously, the earth is incredibly beautiful. That's not what I mean by that. But it gets turned into a garbage dump. Because of the way things are set up and the vision, the wrong vision behind it. That's what I mean by that. And that's the truth. Just look around. So everyone is consuming everything and then just chucking it in the trash. And where does it end up? Back at the earth. Back in the earth. Oh, earth, I'm done with this junk. You take it back. You deal with it. I don't know what to do with it. It's garbage to me now. Just imagine for a moment how many garbage dumps there are around the world and the heaps and piles and piles of it that are everywhere. And you know what those are? Those are tumors. Those are the cancer tumors that everyone is helping to create because this is a cancer toilet vision. I very much hope that everyone is starting to get a clearer picture of what this place really is. And this opportunity, it's like a train that's on a single track and it's got a timeline. So it's a very narrow window. And if you're not on time for a train, you can imagine what happens. The train doesn't wait. doesn't wait around for you. doesn't say, oh, that person over there, they're going to be an hour late. Oh, well, we'll just sit here and wait for an hour for them. No, the train is on schedule. It's going to leave. And if you're an hour late, if you're one second late... Too bad. You missed. You sinned. See? To sin is to miss. That's why I was giving the musical analogies. It's always now, now, now. That's what music is. Always on time. I'm certain that almost everyone must have heard some bad music or terrible musicians at some point that are always off time or off key for that matter. But going back to the time aspect, what do the songs sound like when they're off time? Do they sound great? Absolutely not. I can tell you that it's not like in this reality, there are no off time musicians in heaven. Not one. Not one off key Singer in heaven. Nothing is off key. Nothing. It's perfect. Here, though, my goodness. All one needs to do is play their instrument even half decently, and they can fill a stadium and have a hit album, a hit of all bum. Just all the hits, which is an anagram of shit. Again, not a coincidence. It's another tell, another slap in the face. It's just indicating the kind of music that you're used to listening to in this place, in this realm. Which is no comparison. There, There is no comparison to the music of heaven. It just can't be done. So it's pointless to even describe it, to try. And many will think they have all the time in the world, or they'll be convinced by so many platforms, the news, their friends, their family, whoever, that this opportunity is not what it's about. And I mean... You're going to have to be as zoned out as it gets to believe any of that. 
which is why look at the commenters. They want you to be calm, calm down. Don't get excited. Meditate. It's not a war. Everything is beautiful here. Just look at the strategy. It's not beautiful here. It's horrendous. Look at what's being done to the earth. Oh my goodness. Anyone living in a big city? It's just a big garbage dump. It's a concrete wasteland. It's a cementary. Just concrete and cement everywhere. Which is just death. As soon as you lay down asphalt or concrete and put all these buildings up, there's no life. There's nothing growing out of that concrete. It's done. Yeah, maybe some grass will squeak out through the cracks. I know some people are clever. Oh, life can find a way through everything. <laughs> it's it's just horrendous and ugly. So, I mean, those of you that want to be clever like that, well, whatever. But just look at it, see with your heart, and see it for what it is. It is not beautiful at all, any of this. The whole setup, the whole makeup, it's terrible. It's an abomination. And some of you have said that this monkey corpse shit suit is an immaculate and perfect creation. <laughs> That is hilarious, to say the least. This is an abomination. This is a disease holder at best. It's decrepit. It's gross. It stinks. Just don't shower for a week and tell me how you smell. And then we'll call it beautiful after that if we if we dare try <laughs> just an immaculate perfect creation literally and i'm going to let's go into the sex aspect where everyone comes through you're literally using the plumbing you're using the toilet parts all of you still just enjoy your sex so much just exchanging toilet fluids. But oh, it feels good. That's all that matters. It's no different than eating murder meat. Oh, I love the taste. Same kind of justification. Just slopping around in toilet fluids and saying, oh, that's just the best. Many have convinced themselves that this shit suit is made in the image of God. And of course, it's the devil who calls himself God in his realm because this is his suit, his creation, which is a Frankenstein just stitched together. Just a hack. That's also what you call a terrible musician who's always off key, a hack because he hacks pieces together and he stitches them up. It's an abomination of the worst kind. And anyone who bows down at the altar of it has been confused, to say the least, about what this suit really is and the owner of it and the price that he charges for its use. That's the price of sin and what it's all about. It's using his copyrighted suit. I wonder if anyone really gets that. And of course, these suits create a lot of damage and a lot of pain. And yeah, that does tie into the slaughterhouse system. And the general pain that's caused to the earth itself. There is an enormity of pain, an ocean of pain to be paid. Does one get it? There's no outside savior. But there's going to be an opportunity. And you're going to have to carry your own weight. And you're going to have to be willing to do something. 
You're not just going to be able to just go to your job, and that's not going to be there for very long anyways. Mark my words. Mark them down. Write them down. Write the date today so you can reference back in the near future. And so your 2020 glasses are just going to smack you as hard as possible in the face in that moment. Because you're thinking that you can just sit on the sidelines and just say things like, best of luck to you, or those who continue to think that I'm lost right now or need help. I'm not asking anyone for help for me. I hope that's being understood. But for what's to come, she's going to need a lot of it. Because of what's coming at her. Do you get the symbol? We're all in this to get her. It's like the story of the Iliad. The Trojans and the Greeks. Does one get it? What were they after? The light. Helen in that story, which means light. Hell means light because... This light is in hell. Her light is in hell right now. Just like all of ours is. All of the true hearts. We're in hell. And she's the declared queen. That's the fact. She is the opportunity. Without her, no door, no entry into the kingdom. It's all a bust. Just because you wanted to maybe listen to some unreal commenters instead who just told you to meditate in a war and that's the way out and you just got to go this alone. You just got to go it alone. That's the way. It's always trying to separate everyone. Always trying to keep everyone apart and isolated, individual. We need to be together. Yeah, a real community. Truly a community. And it will be. That's what I'm going to present. I'm going to do a lot of talking about that as well while I'm on the walk. Probably on this channel while I still have time. I'm going to be speaking every day. Every day because that's what heaven is all about. It's about showing up, as I said before. You have to show up. You're not just going to be able to sit at home and sip tea. You're not going to be able to just go on your next Mexican vacation, let's say, in 2025 or whatever, whatever people have planned in the years to come. It's not going to happen. And of course, the commenters are just going to come out in droves And say, he's lost, don't listen to him. He's just wanting to be sad and for you to be sad too. And to be depressed. How dare he ask others to leave their homes. And on and on. I've made myself crystal clear before. I'm going to state it again because the filters are strong. This is about a demonstration. The walk part is about a demonstration that you're willing to leave hell. The opportunity is there. Here's the train. Are you going to stay at home? The train to heaven. There it is. Oh, but I have so many TV shows to watch still. Oh, oh, but it's the train to heaven. Ooh, what should I do? That's exactly what this is about no different it's an accurate metaphor you're going to debate about whether you want to hop on that train because oh you know i kind of had a trip planned you know in in six months here can i just go on that trip and then catch the train no it's going to be gone that's going to be that And of course, your trip isn't going to be there, as I said, because all the resources are going bye-bye. 
So everyone's going to be resting on their laurels, twiddling their thumbs. Because, again, they just took the advice to calm down in a war. Just be happy and just do all the fun things you want all the time. That's all this place is about. That's what cancer is about, which is a circus. A circus doesn't take anything seriously ever. Even when the ship is literally sinking, the Titanic is half in the ocean and the clowns are telling you to party it up still. They're saying, let's get drunk and have a good time. That's what this place is about. And it wants you to think exactly the way they do. And many of you do get caught up in that. Because right now in the moment, you can create that scenario quite easily. Because yes, you could still walk into a grocery store pick up your fresh fruit. You can still go to the drive-thru, get a coffee, and so on. All these things that have been here for a long time. Right now in this moment, you're still able to. But overnight, it's going to change. Overnight. Bam! Done! Holy shit! What's going on? And so many people are just going to be absolutely gobsmacked. They won't have a clue what hit them and what's going on. And for those of you that are listening now, at least you do. You've been given the heads up, but that's what I'm telling you. Are you going to listen to some petty commenters who just showed up. They just showed up. That's so obvious. What have they given to anyone ever before in regards to the truth? What efforts have they ever made? None. No efforts. Zero. Now you have their petty comments on this channel that they're utilizing just to clutter and confuse everyone that's real on here. That's the whole point. That's what they're doing. They're swarming and they're not going to stop. That should be so obvious. I'll post tomorrow and it'll be the same high number of comments just cluttering everything and the next day and the next day and so on. But as I said, it's every day you show up. That's what you do in music. And in war, it's no different, obviously. In war, even more so. And the immensity, the grandiosity that is going to slam against everyone is going to be overwhelming, to say the least. And you're not going to want to show up. You're not going to want to do absolutely everything about that. You're not going to be able to sit on the sidelines anyways. That's the fact. That's the truth. And to those who are not all in for the heart, you have no business being on this channel and commenting. I'm going to call out the unreal State it. I'm all in for the heart. Otherwise, get lost. Get lost. You're not welcome. And of course, you're not going to because you're a zombie and you've been given instructions by your queen spider to keep cluttering everything up. So thank you for proving it out to the real. Keep doing your job. Keep demonstrating what I'm telling everyone. Because it proves it out more and more that what I'm saying, the totality, is true. Thank you for helping me prove it. I appreciate it, actually. Genuinely, thank you so much for creating the cancer clutter to prove out your cancer system. It's been a helpful proof. So there's that. 
I'm going to end on that note, if you will, for this this evening. Again, like the sun rises every day, I need to show up every day too. This is a war. In war, there's no days off. And in heaven, there's no days off ever. Ever. There's no vacation. That was also the point of the vaccine as well. Look, everyone getting their shot so they can go on a vacation. Of course, vaccine is from the Latin vaca, meaning cow. So the cows get their vaccine vaca to go on vacation. Do you get it? So it's just a bunch of cattle lining up because they want a day off. They want to take a break away from the truth, away from the real responsibilities, away from seriousness. And of course, there is no day off, not in hell and not in heaven. So the illusion is that you can do that in the heaven of hell. That's why at this time, it's trying to convince you that this is an amazing place and this is the way it'll always be. But it is a delusion because this is going bye-bye. This is a mirage in the desert and it's going to disappear very fast right before your eyes in the blink of an eye overnight.